Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having issues with your Windows 11 game bar not recording. So if you're having problems with this in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up the search menu. You want to go ahead and type in game bar. One of the best managers should come back with Xbox Game Bar. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the little settings icon up at the top. So go ahead and left click on that. And on the left side, you want to select capturing. Make sure it's set to show microphone recording notifications is turned on. And record in the background when I'm playing a game. You may want to consider turning that on as well. So you can actually close out of here at that point. That was pretty much the only thing I wanted to look at in there. But then underneath settings, we're going to go ahead and select game bar controller settings. So we can actually go back, probably want to go all the way back to the system page. So if you were to open up the search menu, type in settings, it would take you here. And you select the three horizontal lines up at the top. And you want to select gaming on the left side. Where it says Xbox game bar, go ahead and left click on that. Where it says open Xbox game bar using this button on the controller, go ahead and make sure it's turned on. And one further thing we can take a look at here as well would be to close out of here and open up a web browser. I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here for this Microsoft application. So go ahead and just paste it in. And hit enter. Go ahead and select the orange download button. And now we're going to select the time 64 download and select next. And give it a moment here. And it's about 100 megabytes in size, so not too big. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. You can close out of the web browser too at this point. Select yes if you receive a little pop-up for the Windows Update notification. And then you want to accept the terms. And once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at that point you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.